knowing life slowly your awareness grows and with awareness growing you start feeling that you are not the body you are in the body but you are not the body awareness growing more is still you start feeling you are not the mind either you are in the mind but not the mind is slowly you are coming to your very center and that center is simply awareness from where you can watch your mind your emotions thoughts body pain pleasure everything but you are simply a watcher unidentified with anything else that you are watching now this watcher remains watching even in your life in your sleep the day you can feel your watcher even in your sleep that day you know now death is nothing but a longer sleep for the body it it is eternal sleep but the watcher simply moves forwards enters into another womb into another body and this movement continues this transmigration of soul continues till your watchfulness is absolutely pure when the flame is without any smoke then you disappear into the universal into the existential and then you are not going into another house you don't need any house anymore you have learned the lesson that was a school moving from one house to another was moving from one class to another but one day you graduate you become part of existence that's why we celebrate because there is no death either the man is going into a new house good time to celebrate or the man is going into the eternal existence the best time to celebrate and the last time to celebrate and celebrating death will help you to understand that there is nothing in life to be afraid if death is a celebration then what as can be a cause of fear and if you can celebrate death you have attained a maturity it is possible only to those who live life as a rejoicing a constant celebration 
then death is not the termination, but only a small incident of changing your clothes, your house, your body. But you remain exactly the same forever. Nothing changes in your intrinsic being. From eternity to eternity, you are exactly the same.